we have a plank on which a body is kept of mass m the plank and the body are performing shm so let's say this is the mean position and the equation of that shm is given as a1 minus cos omega t so from this equation you can tell that at t is equal to 0 y is equal to 0 so let's start from there so let's draw this line so at t is equal to 0 y is equal to 0 so the plank mass system was here at t is equal to 0 and then as you increase t you will see that this value will go cos omega t will go from 1 to minus 1 so this term y will go from 0 to 2a so initially it was 0 and it will go to 2 times amplitude so this is the initial position and it will go to a maximum height and then it will come down so it's going to do shm above this line so that's what we have got from this equation and somewhere in between is the mean position and amplitude will be a here so this is a this is a so maximum position will be at 2a that will happen when cos omega t is minus 1 so i'm just explaining all this so you should know how to how to make sense of where the plank is starting and how to take the coordinate axis so if this is y is equal to 0 our coordinate axis is like this then only this equation will make sense we need to find the force that the body exerts on the plank if amplitude is known so this is nothing but normal reaction so let's draw the free boy diagram so we have taken y upwards so let's take acceleration also upwards so n minus mg is equal to ma and a is d2y by dt square so y is known to us so we'll do d2y by dt square and you will get normal reaction to be m into g plus a omega square cos omega t so you can see here that initially when the plank was here it was about to shoot up then the normal reaction was maximum and when plank is on the top and it wants to come down then normal reaction will be minimum and that will happen when cos omega t is minus 1 so when cos omega t is minus 1 normal reaction will be minimum and it will be at the top end because then y will become 2a so anyway we plot this so it will be a constant plus a term of cos omega t so it will be a constant constant is mg so then it will vary like this how much it will vary so it will be m a omega square up and m a omega square down so this is the graph of normal reaction and this is our mean position now in second part what is the minimum amplitude at which the body starts to fall so if the amplitude is less than this then the body will not fall so body and the plank will stick together but this is a bit confusing language to understand i like to explain the same problem in this language but find the maximum amplitude at which the body does not fall because it is easy to imagine then when that when amplitude is high then the body will fall behind so let's find a max at which body does not fall so we are not going to solve it because we have already drawn this plot so when body loses contact with the plank that means normal reaction is zero so if you just keep increasing this sine curve so at one point it will touch the x-axis so that time normal reaction will be zero and that is when it will so that will be the minimum a at which the body will fall so that is this language find the minimum amplitude at which the body will fall so if the amplitude is less than that the normal reaction will always be positive so the minimum amplitude at which body will fall will be this distance and this distance is mg so if graph, graph touches x-axis contact will break so mg should be equal to m a omega square so this gives a to be g by omega square now in third part find the amplitude at which the body springs to a height h so when it says springs that means it loses contact and jumps undergoes a free fall and reaches a point reaches a height h 
with respect to initial position. So with respect to initial position, it goes to a height h. So let's see that. So the particle, uh, sorry, the plank was here at lower extreme at t is equal to zero, and it is performing SHM about the main position. So let's say it loses contact at distance x from main position. So again, it starts from here. So up to here, it will never lose contact. Here to here is represented by this part of the graph. So the normal reaction will always be positive. So it will never lose contact until it reaches mean position. And after that, at some point, it will lose contact. So at that point, normal reaction will be zero, which means the acceleration of this Planck mass system would have reached G. So let's read that a bit. Let's say block breaks contact at X when normal reaction becomes zero. When n is equal to zero, only forces mg. So acceleration at just that instant is same as acceleration of SHM. So omega square x, that is the acceleration of a body at a distance x from mean position, is equal to g. After that moment, at as x increases, you can see the retarding force. So as x increases further, the retarding force will be greater than g. So this plank will start to fall behind. So after that moment, as x increases, lower plank will be pulled down harder as its acceleration downwards is greater than g and upper block will break contact and free fall. So at this point, it will just undergo free fall and it reaches a maximum height of h with respect to its initial position. We need to find what is a. So one equation we got omega square x equal to g. Second. Let's find velocity at this point so that we can find h also. So velocity we know is omega root a square minus x square when object is at a distance x. Now third equation where we try to introduce height. So we know v square is equal to 2gh in a free fall but this time we are only so it starts free fall from here. So the height in the equation root 2gh will be this height and that will be h minus a minus x. So v square is equal to 2g h minus a minus x. So these are our three equations. Our variables are x, v and a. So we solve the three to find the value of a that comes to be this. All right.